Hey there, hey there, how's it going? Uh, welcome to my garage. I'm gonna uh, play my garage today and we're gonna be doing it with a hard start um, and we're disabling taxis as well. So this will force us to have to drive as much as possible. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and disable. Uh, hold on a second. Let's go ahead and disable. There we go. Perfect. All right. So here we are at our garage, literally like our garage, not the bank's garage, right? Because uh, most likely. So let's go ahead and put uh, collector stuff for a backpack real quick. Um, What are we definitely going to need? We'll go ahead and get the, get the screwdriver. Oh, wait, I forgot. E. That's right. Now let me get everything set up here. We'll go to our pry tool. Yep, hammer. Uh, we probably will be doing spark plugs at some point. I think that's all we need about right now. Let's go ahead and get the spring compressor in there. And where's the wrench? Do I already have it? Uh, wrench, wrench, wrench. Where are you? Did it not come with a wrench anymore? You gotta be joking me, right? Um... Oh, there it is. What the hell is it doing way back here? I get in here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and just clean this up real quick. Uh, bear with me. All right, there we go. Got it all kind of cleaned up just a little bit. Uh, so we don't start out with very much money in hard start. Uh, 2500 I mean, we could probably get a shit car down at the junkyard for that price, but uh, we're going to have to basically do a few jobs. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that started here. Something's wrong with the charging. I mean, is it even worth doing this job? It's probably going to pay 40 bucks. Oh, what? $629. Okay, this might be like an alternator job. Oh, wow. Looks pretty nice. Huh. Okay. Uh, something wrong with the charging. Well, the battery's definitely shot. Uh, let's go ahead and get that off. That's right. We got the tool belt now. Or the bag here. A uh, wrench. There we go. Let's see. Go. So, yep. Crap battery. Let's go ahead and get a new one of those. Um, alternator though? Does it look, oh, the belt's definitely bad. Wow. Um, I mean, that does look bad, right? Yeah, I think it would be shiny if it wasn't. Let's go ahead and get this taken off. Oh, and the wire. There it is. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. So let's get a belt. Uh, what is it called? An alternator belt and an alternator. Alternator belt and an alternator. And this is a wolf, right? Uh, alternator belt would be in an engine bay. Uh, that's definitely not the right belt. What engine does that thing have? It is a 3.0D, what's that, an inline six? Let's see the inline six D. Oh, did you see it? A little bit different parts, isn't it? Uh, let's see, yep, there's the belt, and there's the alternator. Does the bamp, there's the battery. Okay, so that run us a little over 300 bucks. Let's get this belt on. Come on, but I can't pick it up. Oh, it's because it's the belt. Okay, uh, let's get the alternator on first. You can do it. Come on. Wait, what? 
Why isn't this going on? Set the D. Uh, maybe it's my wrench. Huh. Of course. Uh, the same thing. Yeah. Uh, well, let's go grab battery real quick. Slot that in. We'll tighten it on the way back. And let's grab this belt. See, I shouldn't even be able to put this on until the alternator's on. Okay. Well. Oh. Huh. I wonder why. Let's see if this old one will go back on. Um, let's tighten. Hold on. Okay, so that does go back on. It says the ice uh, inline six D. This one says inline six D as well. Alternator bracket. Yeah. Oh, oh, is the bracket separate? Oh, I didn't know there was a separate part. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I haven't worked on this car yet. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I like it. I like it. I like it. More parts, the better. Okay, let's get this back in here. Okay, let's get this bracket in here. Now we can put the new alternator in. Okay. Yeah, uh, dig it. Uh, oh, I already got the bracket on. Now I just got to do the alternator to... Um, where is the bolts on that? Oh, okay. Makes sense. Okay, there we go. And is that everything? Of uh, the battery. Okay, let's get this thing tightened. Now, it shouldn't take too long to actually make some money. I, I tested it out or played have a different playthrough uh, on hard mode. Uh, some parts are damaged. Okay, so I didn't get it all. So what do we got? We got the belt, the battery, and the bad alternator. Where is it? This is the bad one, right? Yep. Okay, so what did it say? Having a trouble charging. Uh, did I tighten up? I did tighten up the battery, right? Yeah, it said something's damaged. Well, let's take a Oh, is it the fan? No. Let's take a closer look here. Is the wires bad? Oh, it is the wires. Yeah. That will cause some bad, uh, some bad charging. Never even bolted that back on, did I? Uh, is that one? What do we got on this side? The starter. There it is. Scroll down. There we go. Okay, is that, is that the last one? Oh. So we got that one. Oh, no, no, no. What did I just... Freaking loosen. Come on. I feel like it was something in the middle of the engine. All right, whatever. Um, what else would it be connected to? This should be already already loose. And the one on the back of the oh, the one on the car, right on the frame. Uh, does it have one on the frame? Maybe not. Easy. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get some wires. What do they call these things? Wires main, okay. Let's 
see here. Perfect. Everything is all in the same general area. So we started with 25. We're at uh, 21.5. So let's get this in there. Perfect. Tighten it. Uh, we'll probably get the battery in. Tighten it. Uh, get the alternator. Maybe. Where are you? you? There we go. There we go. Uh, the one on the frame. Yeah, yeah. And the starter. There we go. Uh, is that starter on? It looked like a little loose. Okay. Uh, let's see if that's enough. You know, let's go ahead and test drive this shit. Uh, actually, e well, we could turn this in right away. Um, because even on hard start, there's a little bit of, like, I don't know if you call them cheats or not, but we can just use these cars to go get the things that we need at other places. Since we can't taxi, you know what I mean? Um, uh, let's just turn. You know what? I do want to drive it. Let's see. And I am using my G27. Okay, well, it starts. Uh, parking brake on. Just gonna slap it in reverse. Okay. Let's take it for a test drive, make sure it's running okay. Alright, I think we're clear. Probably not. There we go. All right, here we go. See, okay. It's a little unsettling. There we go. Oh yeah, this thing's got some power. What is the, uh, so it's in kilometers, okay. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So here's our future garage. Uh, 50 grand we need to get. Um, do I need to buy anything? I mean, we could see if there's a car over here, uh, for under 20... 100, I guess. Uh, let's just pull in. And see. Okay. Uh, let's get that e-brake on. Alright, and let's see what they got in here. Oh, there's another wolf. Uh, there's the beautiful Nev. Mm, it's not in bad shape. It's going to cost way too much. Yeah. Three. Oh, geez. Eleven. Okay, yeah. We definitely ain't getting nothing like that. Uh, but that's okay. Just wanted to test drive the car. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get back to the house and sell it. Or not sell it, but I guess uh, give it back to the customer. Oops, I got my brake on. Alright. Now, I would assume this thing is like rear wheel drive. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a burnout. Or try to do a burnout. It is standard, so we can't just do a uh, brake and switch. Oh, <laughs> okay, no. Uh, hold on. Let's try it again. Oh, okay. So this thing does not want to burn out at all. Uh, let's see if we can whip it around in here real quick. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
Oh, I hope that doesn't cost me to the customer. We'll take a look at it when we get back home. Let's go ahead and just get out of here before the cops come. Okay. Okay. Oh, and there's a fifth too. Nice. Okay, yeah, it runs pretty good. Uh, hopefully I didn't mess it up too bad, and hopefully that doesn't affect my job, because that'll be... What was that? $350? There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and get her back over here. Uh, I guess it doesn't have automatic blinkers. Oops. Now we can turn that off, and there we go. Parking brakes on. Let's go see what kind of damage we did. Um, ooh, busted headlight. Uh, let's see if we can just turn it in. Oh man, supports are damaged. Car has dented panels. Yep, I shouldn't have did that. Damn it, that was not a good start. Uh, let's go ahead and get the hammer real quick. See if we can just salvage this mission. Oh yeah, I forgot it's in my bag. Uh, hammer. Let's see. Okay. Okay. That's good news. Might have to replace the. Uh, oh. Bumper. Ah, oh, the headlight. I think that's it. Let's see. Any more hammers up oh, there? Still a spot. I think that's it. Oh, I seen a hammer there. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Says it's all, says it's all good. Oh, damn. I didn't know you could actually uh, turn the engines in, uh, turn the things in from here. Uh, dented panels, yeah. Don't say. Okay. Let's see. Oh, did I see one? No, I don't. I think that was a reflection on the tire. Uh, let's take a look at it now. Some parts are damaged, some parts are missing. What could be missing, though? Okay, well, we screwed up. Uh, that was not a good start. Let's uh, let's abandon this, damn it. Okay, we're going to have to try it again. That was a lot of money I just lost. Um, you know what we can do. Damn, I should have kept that car. <laughs> we could have went down to the junkyard, and um, I could have just did, like, a, a sand job. Maybe a little bit of body filler. Uh, and we could have just made some quick money that way. Um, sometimes you can get lucky and find cars under two grand. But let's see what other job we might get. Damn, it sucks. No, that's going to be too little, right? 60 bucks. Uh, can't start. 137. Shifting. Okay, here we go. Something wrong with the shifting. Seventeen hundred bucks. This is we're gonna redeem ourselves. Uh, let's go ahead and put this back into. Oops, damn it. Uh, back into the bag. There we go. So what did it say? Transmission. Something wrong with the shifting. Okay. Uh, we don't have, we do have a jack. I'm going to say we don't have a lot of options here for fixing uh, underneath the car. Let's go ahead and grab this real quick. Come on. I'm going to uh, bend down to grab it. Wait. Oh. oh. 
It was it was raised. Um probably go at it from the side. Where's the frame at? Right there. Oops, damn it. Yeah, let's go. go right here. Yep. Okay. Well, that does not go very high. I have to buy a floor jack. Okay, let's get our wrench. I know I didn't put that back in my bag. And we're going to scooch down as much as we can here. Uh, let's see. I need to get that starter off. Uh, disconnect the wire first. No. We do it from the top. All right. Let's go ahead and get... Oops. No, 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 no. Stay down where you were. You were doing so good. Uh, unstuck me, please. Okay. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be tricky. Uh let's get back down on the ground. We're gonna roll our mouse wheel. Um, I don't need to take that off. Uh and we just need to get uh the drive shaft. Can we get to it? Oh, yep. Nope. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, uh, unstuck ourselves and let's see if we can actually see through the floorboard here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh, where's my wrench? There it is. Okay. No, we don't want to sit. There we go. One, two, three. And then I think we just got to get this side. One. And then there's some top ones. Yeah. Perfect. We're almost perfect anyway. There we go. And there we go. Or not. Uh, let's see. Oh, is that good or bad? I don't know. Um, I guess I have to get back under there. Oh, the starter. It's the starter. Excuse me, garage. Yeah, that's right. There we go. I'm gonna grab it. Oh, there we go. Okay, now, we, yep, there we go. Per perfect, though. Okay. And, uh, yep, let's just get a new transmission. What does it say? Gearbox 4? V8. And it's also for an inline 6. What is this thing? Is this the BART? And we definitely got the V8, so. All right. Uh, V8, starter, starter, not starter, um, transmission. Yeah. Gearbox 4. Okay, 541. So that means we'll be making just a little over like 1,200 or something. Okay, can we just slap it in there? Yep. Tighten. Uh, let's go ahead and just stick this on right away. Tighten. Fantastic. Oh, yep. I don't know what that was, but oh, it's probably the other bolt for the starter. And then these two. And then we just got to get underneath and tighten up these uh engine brackets. And one more. There we go. I think we got them all. Yeah, that should be it, right? Uh, let's go see. 
Let's go ahead and drop our uh, jack real quick, though. Okay, lower it more. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's see. Complete. Perfect. That gave us a little more money than what we started with. Let's get another order in here. Alternator belt looks old. Skip it. Can you change a fuel tank? Um, I can. Uh, it's not worth my time. Uh, I need a head gasket change. Okay. Uh, we're going to see what car this is. Okay, let's just take this down to the junkyard. Um, let's make sure we have everything. So we're gonna need our, oops, we're gonna need our, uh, definitely that wrench, probably. Um, we're gonna take some Bondo for sure, cause that uh, should help increase the price. Oh no, the Bondo actually won't help us increase our value because if you notice, it, it only like helps after you paint it. Um, but we definitely need the. Oops. Yeah, we could take that. Uh, brake fluid, probably not. Um, I don't think I need to take any of that stuff. Uh, maybe. Oh, I can't take this anyway. I think I'm at the full capacity. Yeah, we won't do any, like, panel removing, I'm assuming. No, we probably will do some panel removing because that also will bring up the value. Let's head down to the junkyard and see what kind of money we can make. It's getting late, though. I'm gonna take an early nap. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I just had some head gasket repairs, so it should drive fine. There we go. All right, should be making, uh, oh, I can never remember where the damn junkyard is. Um, I don't think it's this way. see okay easy okay uh, I forgot there's actually a map which isn't really helping me it's actually telling me I'm going the wrong way so we'll just cruise around Until we find it. I know it's going to be up here to the right. The long way, right? I'm going way the wrong way. Um, oh well. We'll just cruise this. So hopefully we make it to the junkyard. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going all the way the wrong way. Oh, nope. Yeah, we are. What's this way, though? Uh, wait, hold on. I think I'm in the right area. Okay, you can scroll the map. Oh yeah, we're just going kind of the right way. So let's turn around, go straight, and then we make a right after all those turns. Don't tell me I passed it and didn't know it. I think we can, uh... I was hoping I could just do like a burnout. Uh. Okay, there we go. No cars are coming. Yeah, that's right. Up this hill to the right. Yep, here we go. And... 
Oh, yeah, no. I was going to say I should have went and got some more Bondo. But we're not going to be doing Bondo. Oh. oh. That's okay. We're not planning on fixing this car. We're just borrowing it. Luckily, I don't have to pay for the repairs. All right. Yeah, we should be able to make a lot of money really, uh, really quick here. Because the best way to make money in this game is just grinding out rust and uh, taking off broken parts. Let's just go ahead and uh, park it right here. Okay, neutral. Well, it's not actually uh, my neutrals in, in place, but okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, wow. When did they add dirt? I don't remember that ever happening. That's awesome. I love it. All right. Let's see. Shoot. I don't know what I have for my um, car count. I must have the max. Okay. There we go. All right, let's see, it should be done loading. So we got 3,100, get away from that guy. He's gonna scream in my ear. Um, so we wanna find really the rustiest piece of junk there is. Damn, that has some really bad tires. Uh, yeah, the more of the rust, the better. Well, we ain't even gonna be able to forge something like this or like this. So we could probably get some bad nibs. So 36. This is going to be too much. Uh, yeah, let's just kind of see the prices first. See what we can actually afford. And then go from there. Because they want to give me like nothing but the truck. And the fucking wolf, man. Okay, good. Look, we could buy this. Twenty-one seventy-eight. Uh, how's the rust on it, though? Uh, three stars. That's good. Uh, let's see about this one. This one is some more. And we definitely don't even know why I check. Oh, 37. See, that's why I check, I guess. Uh, we almost actually have enough for that. And how about this one? 19. The three rust as well. But this one has a lot more beat up parts that look like they're probably not fixable. Uh, whereas this one, was it the Niv? Yeah, this one's in a little bit better condition. So once we get the rust out, it should be worth a bit more. Three and three. Yeah. And this is what? Four stars. Okay, let's buy this and let's get it fixed. Not fixed, but uh, let's get the rust knocked out of it and the dents. Rust and dents will increase value pretty good. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and pull out our backpack. Uh, we'll start with the dents. If there are any. A lot of rust. Beautiful. Okay. So the body actually seems pretty good on this thing. Which is great, because, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and pull out the angle grinder and our disc. And let's get this thing fixed up. Well, not fixed, but you know what I mean. Go.
Okay, this one's been a little bit of a bastard. Now let's go and open the door. Oh my god, look at this freaking interior. Uh, let's see. Yep. Just little rails. There we go. That's what you want to see. It disappear like that. Let's see. Any rust up back here? Yep. Let's look under the bumper as well. That's great. Let's look under it. Looks good. Looks good. Fantastic. What about inside rust? Uh, that actually will count as rust right here, this piece here. So unless you get rid of that, you'll always have it. Um, let's see. Looking rust free. Let's take a look. So four stars. Yeah, I'll never be able to get it because of that bottom part. Um, but there still might be rust on this thing. Just need to look a little bit. Oh, wait, do you see any? Oh, I see some back here. All right. Uh, I don't know if that's actually rust. Oh, it's just reflection, actually. Okay. Okay, uh, there's some rust. Yep, got to take out, check all the door jams. Let's go ahead and get the wrench. Uh, is it in my backpack? Yep. Let's take off this door panel and get the rust behind it. Okay, not too much. If any. I mean, this spot maybe. Oops. Okay, there's a little bit underneath. Okay, oh, it looks like I got it. Fantastic, okay. Let's take a look now. Oh, if we did, never mind, I guess I lied. Don't ignore me. I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, we're up to 4,200 though. Look at that. That's pretty freaking amazing. Uh, let's see what happens now. So look, it's sometimes these junk parts, if you take them out, it, the, it goes up in value. 4237. If we put this junk part back on, let's see what happens. Sit out there. 4237. Now let's see how much it's worth. Okay, never mind. Maybe if it's only like really bad pieces. This windshield or something. Uh, let's actually test that theory. Uh, let's pull out the pry tool. Okay, how much is it worth? Forty-two, forty-three. Now it's worth forty-two, forty-three. Okay, well that didn't do anything, unless I unless its sense changed and I, I didn't see it. Okay, well this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and sell it. Easy tiger. All right, uh, let me clean these up real quick. All right, let's go back in and see what else we can get. Oh, uh, we probably don't waste my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get this other nev right away. Oh, 59. Did it cost that much the first time? I don't remember. I thought it was a lot more. I thought it was actually affordable. Uh, what about this piece of junk over here? Uh, let's go ahead and buy this for the 1985 and see if we can do anything to increase its price. This price is still looks the same. Um, yeah. Let's get the hammer first. Let's see if we can pound anything out. This thing's in pretty awful shape. Oh, 
that's good. At least we're salvaging some of the of the parts. Trunk. Still something down there. Oh, nice. I didn't know you could pound out bumpers, actually. That's good to know. Hey, you said almost fix that whole damn thing. Okay, is that everything? All right, let's go ahead and just squeeze our heads in here. Still something in here. Uh, let's go ahead and come out. Uh, there it is. Okay. Awesome. None of this, unfortunately, can get pounded out. And I think the roof is complete. Okay, what did that bring it up to? Um. Oh, we lost a value. Wonderful. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and grind out. Oops, this is the wrong thing. Some of this rust out of here. Okay, so let's get the wrench. So let's see what it's worth, and let's see how the rest is too. So we're at four stars with the rest. Might be able to find the rest, but let's go ahead and get all this crap off. Uh, let's test this out again. 1830. eighteen thirty eighty two though. I think the, the what you call changed. Uh, windshield looks good. Let's go ahead and get the wrench and let's take off the trunk. So this thing is at 1830. Let's take this off. Oops. And now it's worth. Oh. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's the code has changed too. So I could have sworn. At one point, uh, when you took off like really bad parts like that, it would increase the value, which kind of makes sense. Uh, what do we need over here? No, thank you. And uh, this one's going to be tricky. Guess we can just. I think I see the, the flapper doodle. We're just going to have to descend into... There they are. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's see what it's worth now. 1745. Yeah, it's not even... It's not going up in value. Uh, it's actually worth less than what I've paid for it, so I guess this doesn't always work. Uh, let's take out this thing. 1742. 
Um, if we can take off this front. Grill. Now let's take off these. Oh, look, I see a bunch of rust. I don't think I can get it, though. Yeah, no. Let's see what else we can get off. Uh, easy. Is it the headlight? Can we get the bumper off? Please. Is that it? Yep. And what else? Let's see. Let's get the screwdriver back. Take off all these broken ass bulbs. Uh, maybe. There it goes. Oh, they're on the front. I mean, that makes sense, actually. And let's get this one off. Actually, that's the only good part. Let's see what it's worth. Seventeen sixty-five. So we got a little bit of value back, but not much. Um, I don't think I can get. Oh, I got the discs, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Um. Forgot. I, I don't know if I like this way better or the other way better. I like the other way. Ah, uh, there we go. And let's go ahead and just chop off this front. At all possible. This is probably another one on this side. Yep. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, because this is... Oh, is it? No, yeah, I was going to say. Shouldn't go on. Let's see, how much is it worth now? 1708 Well, that took a lot of value off. Damn it. Is this grindable? No. Can we get it off? Probably. Not. Yeah, probably not, actually. Trying to find that bolt would be impossible. Um... Yeah. Let's try, let's take off these tail lights. Doesn't even have an overall condition, it's so bad. One. Two. And two. Seventeen oh eight. I don't see any rust. Okay. Well, this is a farce. Is that the word? I get my head in there, please? Oh, there's not even an in there, is there? Oh, look. No, that's probably not it. I can't be that lucky.
Oh, I am that lucky. Okay. Now what is it worth? 16.33. Well, I'm just losing money left and right off this thing. That's okay. It's okay. Well, a little bit sad. Let's go ahead and sell it. We lost money on that one. Uh, let's go take a look. See what other ones we can buy. Yeah, see, the, the rustier the better. Rustier the better. 4,800. How much is this one? 36. Let's buy it. And let's see if we can make some money off this one. Uh, let's grab, let's grab this. And let's look for some rust here. Let me see. I'm not seeing very much. If any at all. Oh, there's some. Oh, good. Uh, let's take a look. Four stars still. Oh, well. Four stars still. Let's open the door. And maybe behind this panel. Or that panel. Oh, my God, the tire. Oh, here we go. What about now? Five stars. 54 bloody hundred. Okay. So we're talking about now. Uh, let me just look it over. I mean, it says it's five stars, but... Oh, never know. Okay, looks good. Let's sell it. Apparently taking parts off. Uh, doesn't help. Oh, great. Oh yeah, I forgot. No sound. Okay, so what are we up to? 6,500. Uh, we still have this customer's car over here. Um, let's see what else we can get. Oh, can I get this? Just kidding. Uh, let's just go down the line, I guess. This one looks rusty. 85. Nope. Seventy one, no. Eleven thousand, no. Uh, Eighty nine, no. Thirteen thousand, oh, nine thousand, no. Twelve, no. Nine, nope. Probably this Niv. Uh, 59, yes, we can get that. 37, let's get this first. You know it's raining? No. Can I sleep in the back of my car? There's no back of my car. Um. 
Let's see. Rust, Rust, where are you? Too bad this rain doesn't clean you. Oh, uh, there's a headlamp. I forgot about that. Oh, this rust is hard to see. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Okay, let's look up top. There we go. Check this side. Looks good. The spot was making me wonder, but I don't think so. Oops, easy. Uh, I can't tell with those middle ones. Uh, they look fine. Let's go ahead and open up the doors and check inside the door jams looks good check inside the trunk I don't even think these door jams are paintable um, inside the door looks good I guess we could look at it or stars so we're definitely missing something It's going to be hard to see. Let's check under the bumper. Yep, there it is. Yeah, look how hard that's to see. Huh. Wow, this one is not really going up in value. Or maybe it is. I don't remember how much we bought it for. Oops, sorry. No door panel. No door panel. Okay, well, I think that's about as best as we're getting this. Right? Oh, look, back here. Wait, is that is that fixable? Am I grinding the glass? Oh, no, that's not fixable. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's going to be it. Sell it. Seventy-nine. Okay, well, that's not too bad. We're up to almost eight thousand. Uh, I don't remember how much any of these cost, so I'm just gonna go through them. Oh, eighty-five. That one's really close. Seventy-one. Okay. Uh, 
All right, let's see how much we get out of this puppy. What? I paid 7100 for this. Why is it not worth that much now? I feel like I got ripped off at the junkyard. What the hell? Like this, I can't even... Uh, okay. Okay, how's the rest? Four stars, 4,900. Um, now, I do think if I take this roof off, it will make it more valuable. Because it's got a lot of rust on it. Let's just try it. I might have screwed myself, and I probably should have quit when I was ahead. You know? Uh, what are we taking off? The roof. These are the, some of the hardest damn parts to get off, too. In my experience. Hopefully just these last two. Yes. How much? Oh, great. Yep, I screwed myself. We're selling it. And we're going to head home. Or maybe I'll leave it here. I don't know what to do. Um. Yeah, so apparently you can't just willy-nilly buy and expect to grind it out. You have to kind of really just take a look at it. Uh, we're going to sell it. I'm not going to bother. We can make that back pretty easily. Um, I'm going to get home out of this rain, and we're going to call it. Uh, but we will drive home here. I, don't... I didn't think I had the brake on, but I did. Easy does it. Now I'm curious, I don't know if, uh, does weather actually have an effect on my driving? Doesn't feel like it, at least not the dirt. So much for a bad head gasket, this thing runs great. I don't think, yeah, I definitely don't think I want to go right, or do I? I mean, it's better than all those turny roads. Yeah, let's go right and then left. It's kind of rally track over there. Never been. I think the head gaskets are uh, finally having an effect. Uh, let's see, we're right here. Uh oh. What happened? Let's turn it around. Oh no. What happened? Let's go this way. Let's see if we can pop the clutch. I don't think. 
Oh, wait, it, 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 does, it is a thing. Okay, well. Uh, apparently, don't drive around with uh, bad head gaskets and flying around. Uh, where's the dipstick at? Wish there was a little zoom button. I mean, that's kind of a zoom, but it's more of a crouch. I mean, the oil actually looks pretty good. Oh, oops. I, sorry. Yeah, back in there. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, I think the house is just right here. God, it's a ways up there. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, huck this back home. Uh, just bear with me. I'll probably time lapse this or something. Okay, we are back home. Uh, we've made about 3,600 bucks. Um, didn't I have a pile of stuff here? I did, right? Interesting. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and sleep real quick, and then we're going to go ahead and just call it. I forget. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're going to call it here. Uh, thanks for watching. I don't know if this was a success or a failure, but uh, we'll see you guys next time. Later.